What is up, GPS? I hope that you're all having a wonderful morning this morning so far. I'm actually in Kerrville right now, and I'm going to be bringing the Word of God to my old uh, peeps back up there in Kerrville for just one Sunday, so I will be back. Y'all are my peeps now, all right? But anyway, I'm going up there and just sharing the love. But I just wanted to share with you my, my weekend. Uh, this past Friday, I actually, I was able to take uh, Ashley and Dave and Sarah and myself. We all went down to the coast for the day. And it was just one of those kind of days that was just right, you know. One of those kind of days that you just, you, you just wish they would never end, you know. And so we packed everything up after spending a day at the beach. And I was driving back and the car was quiet. And I was just thinking, man, you know, this is one of those kind of days that you just... Man, you just really wish it would never end or wish you could have a couple of more hours, you know, because it's special. Maybe you've had times like that in your life where you just wish that, you know, time would slow down to where you could savor a moment a little bit longer, you know. Maybe you have a situation in your life that you really need God to do that. You need him to slow down time so much that maybe uh, you could fix the issues in your life. Like maybe your grades are really, really bad and you're in the home stretch and you're like, God, can you just stop time for like a year so I can get caught up on the homework I didn't turn in the entire semester? You know, those kind of things. But the idea of the sun stopping isn't a new idea. As a matter of fact, in the Old Testament, you will find there's this guy named Joshua that's about y'all's age. And he's kind of faced with the situation that is overwhelming. And unless God moves in his life and does something miraculous, he's not going to be able to get the job done that he needs to get done that God has called him to do. And so I don't know how this message is going to hit you, but here's the good news. I want to let you know that I've picked two of the most anointed young men that I personally know in my life. And I ask that you would give them all the love and all the respect that you would be giving me. I would count it a personal favor if you did that. What I want you to do is I want you to open up your mind, I want you to open up your heart, and allow God to speak to you through these young men. So if you would put your hands together right now, let's get this thing started. Please welcome Jordan and Justin, GPS Homeboys. Have a great morning. I love you guys. Bye.